Good evening, everybody, and early evening it is on a very active and fairly tragic Monday. This is meteorologist Austin Anna coming to you live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, with an update of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We'll be doing another one later on tonight on my own Facebook page, so make certain you click through and are able to take a look at what's going on through that area. Fairly quiet in the Mid-South at this time. We don't have, again, a lot going on. A few sprinkles across the area. We'll take a look at radar coming up here in just a little little bit. For the most part, again, things are going to be quiet and unfortunately very warm as we go throughout the course of the next few days. So if you have any plans for outdoors, again, that's going to be something to take into consideration because again, we see the possibility of some more problems with that. We again see also some nicer weather way out into the forecast. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Give me a second to get everybody available on our Facebook page. We're being joined tonight and of course we are. We're having some trouble with, again, the internet access. Looks like we're going live for right now. Uh, hopefully, again, audio is doing well. And hopefully also I can make this work without jostling the camera all over the place. But that's what happens in live netcasting. So in the meantime, once again, uh, thanks everybody for joining us. We are live right now on our main Facebook page for WREG. If you've never been here before, this is again our video weather blog called Weather Overtime, giving you kind of a teaser view for right now. But we'll also be giving you a little bit more of an extended forecast coming up a little bit later on. Time is just past about 540 on Monday evening, dry across the Mid-South for the most part. But we're also going to be seeing the possibility of some more showers coming our way into the next couple days. More of our weather forecast here, wreg.com slash weather. If you can't stick around for the entire netcast, forecast available here, social media here, here, and over there. you got a pretty good idea as to what's going on out there. Take a look at the cameras across the Mid-South on our weather bug system. It is relatively nice out there, again, with the clouds blocking out a decent amount of the sunshine, so we don't have a lot in the way of clouds mixed in with rainfall, but on the Germantown City Hall cam from Poplar Pike and Germantown Parkway. Things are relatively quiet there. Taking a look at radar across the area, we do have a few sprinkles showing up. It's not much. Lightest sensitivity is again showing again the possibility of a few scattered showers in and around wind. Colt on either side of Forest City, coincidentally where News Channel 3's Jim Jaggers is for Go Jim Go for this afternoon. Most of that is going to continue to drift its way northward. We also have some more showers making their way up from around northwest Mississippi. Mississippi River over here, I-55 in the blue on the right-hand side. So these areas of rain making their way upwards are right between the river and I-55. James R. Belts, any rain for uh, Paris, Tennessee? Yes, there will be a few scattered showers coming through, very light in nature, if anything whatsoever. And Angela Brewer, welcome to the show from Memphis. Cooler weather today. Get set for some warmer conditions out there. We'll talk more about that in just a little while. Outside of a few very light sprinkles showing up over parts of northeastern Arkansas between Jonesboro and I-55. Not much going on here. And across West Tennessee, we also have little, if anything, really going on at this point. So again, pretty quiet for the Mid-South as we head through rush hour in the early evening. Taking a look right now at our webcams, if you want to see more like our Germantown uh, webcam from City Hall, all you have to do is go to wreg.com slash webcams. Susan Webster, thank you very much for the report from Bolivar. Appreciate that. Kay Perry Cox from uh, Lady Lake, Florida. Cool. Thank you very much for joining us there. Earthquakes in the Mid-South. Yes, it's not technically weather, but we try to keep as close an eye on this as possible, seeing as how we are next door neighbors with the New Madrid Fault. Did have an earthquake uh, earlier this morning at about 10:12, a 2.2 in the Missouri Boot Hill. Also one just north and west of Dyersburg, a 1.5 just past midnight last night. And another one into and around the area at about 2 o'clock this morning around the area between Blytheville and Osceola. We're not seeing, again, a lot of major activity, which is definitely good news, and this information courtesy of the United States uh, Geological Survey and the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at University of Memphis, if you'd like to tune in for more information there. Winds at this time, the lines pointing to the upper left-hand corner of your screen means the winds are out of the southeast heading toward the northwest, and we're going to continue to see some very warm conditions in the Mid-South as we go into the next couple of days. Let me switch over 
over to temperatures so you can see what it looks like here. It's a little warmer back over toward western areas of Arkansas, southwest Missouri, and eastern Oklahoma. More sunshine over there, a little bit more warmer wind coming up from the south, so a little bit in the way of warmer temperatures here. We've got plenty of clouds, so that's blocking out a lot more of the sunshine out there, so good news on that. Good news also for hurricane season, looking toward the area around Africa, that yellow that you see on screen, that is dust off the Sahara, and that's doing a good job of blocking out some sunshine, which is helping to keep the tropics a little bit quieter. So good news uh, on that for the storm-ravaged Atlantic over the last several days. We don't have much going on at this time, again, from the National Hurricane Center. A uh, little, if anything, taking place, again, directly here, but we are monitoring an area down across the Yucatan Peninsula. New disturbance down this direction could be a problem for the Gulf. A 20% chance of development in the next couple of days. Again, it doesn't look like much, but if this thing goes farther north and intensifies, this could have an impact on our weather here in the Mid-South area, so we'll be keeping track of that. Currently, not much of anything going on in the Mid-South area. You've got very quiet conditions out there. Hazardous weather outlook not much of going anything across uh, much of the area for right now. Corodoro Meadows, hope I'm saying that right, from South Haven, Mississippi. Thanks for joining us for tonight. Tina Allensworth from Marion, Arkansas. Glad to hear you're enjoying the cooler weather. Thanks, everybody, for joining us on Periscope and Twitter for this time frame. Uh, seeing, again, the possibility of what's going on into and around the Mid-South for the rest of the next couple of days. So we see, again, the potential for more showers out there. Patricia Wilbanks, Cole, glad you are uh, enjoying the weather or the weather on Google, whatever it is we can get on here for you. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got high pressure back to the east of us, which is doing a good job of basically telling all these storm systems coming in from the west to just kind of hold it and just wait there for a little while. And these storms run up against this big dome of high pressure and they can't go any place. So this is what we're stuck with for right now. Until that area of high pressure relents and leaves the area, we're going to see a, a possible fringe of some areas of light rainfall into the next about 36 hours just here and there. We're just not seeing too much of anything in the way of major amounts of problems. This cold front coming in from the north, that'd be nice if we could get that to go all the way on through here. But unfortunately for right now, we're just kind of stuck with this thing for the time being. And we'll be sticking around for that into the course of the next several days. For the rest of the evening, cloud cover tonight looking like this. Again, not much in the way of good stargazing weather because of the moisture and the humidity from the clouds. Uh, not going to be seeing too much of anything in the way of good conditions out there for a good stargazing tonight. Catching a spare meteor, just going out to see what's available. Again, pretty cloudy out there. Low temperatures tonight back into the mid-60s. High temperatures tomorrow getting a little warmer thanks to the fact that we should see a little bit less in the way of cloud cover. Blue on the right-hand side is less clouds gray on the left hand side is more cloud cover coming our way so that's again clearing skies into tomorrow warmer conditions out there lows tomorrow night in the mid to upper 50s to lower 60s and highs on wednesday approaching the mid 80s now unfortunately we don't have anything on this graphic that will give us an idea as to what's going on uh, into the next several days where it comes to anything past the 10-day forecast which you can see here on our seven-day forecast which you can get at wreg.com slash weather. Into the weekend, an isolated chance of a shower or thunderstorm coming up, but here's the good news, and if everything works, excuse me, over the next several days, we should see the possibility of some cooler weather coming our way, much cooler if everything holds toward next, next week, the second week of October. That's when we should see some nicer conditions coming on through. But as of right now, it's going to be warm, a little bit more humid, and an isolated chance of a shower or thunderstorm from time to time, and that's going to be about it. Tonight, if you live in Itawamba County or anywhere around that area in Fulton, Mississippi, tonight will be your opportunity to learn more about some Severe weather, Skywarn training coming up at the ben, uh, W.O. Benjamin Fine Arts Building at Itawamba Community College. That'll be tonight at 6.30. Tomorrow in Jackson, Tennessee, your opportunity to learn about severe weather and becoming a Skywarn volunteer at 239 Grady Montgomery Drive. These classes are taught by the National Weather Service meteorologists and personnel in Memphis, and they are very good to learn more about what you can do to get set for severe weather. It's a great opportunity to learn more and I'd really highly recommend it to be ready for all this. There are many other meetings coming up in the course of the next several weeks, so if you'd like to see more about this, all you have to do is go to weather.gov, weather.gov, slash M-E-G, that's the designator for Memphis, or 
uh, let me just show you. This is an easier way to do this here. Go to the National Weather Service main page, weather.gov. Scroll down. Click on the Mid-South area. That'll take you directly to the National Weather Service office in Memphis. Click on the Become a Storm Spotter headline. Boom. There you go. That's all you need to know. And once you get there, they'll teach you everything you need to know when it comes to what's going on with weather in and around the Mid-South and how to get ready for it. I would really recommend it for kids. I'd say about eight to nine years old and up if they have a good idea about science and weather, a good opportunity to learn more, especially if kids are scared of the weather. This is their opportunity to learn more about what they can do to put some control on an uncontrollable situation or what seems like an uncontrollable situation. We'll have more about this on my Facebook page. That's available at facebook.com slash austinonic, W-R-E-G. I'll post that in the comments section for you to take a look at. We have tons of information on there about uh, what's going on with science and weather and climate and environmental information. Today's the 180th anniversary of Racer's Hurricane hitting Texas and Mexico. A pretty nasty storm, uh, about almost 200 years ago and more information about what's going on in and around the Mid-South. Again, join me on Facebook.com slash Austinonic WREG. Also join me on my Twitter page, Twitter.com slash Aonic underscore WREG3. And thanks to everybody for some great pictures out there sending along a whole bunch. We're going to try to make certain that we get as many as possible uh, from Facebook. So if you'd like to post them on there, we'd love to have you along for the ride. Join me tomorrow morning as I talk more about the weather with Bob and Josh on Talk Back Live uh, Monday through Friday morning from 7 to 9 a.m. on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. If you can't join us on air, join us online at www.talkbacklivenetwork.org for more information about the weather. Tim Simpson is out for the evening hours. I'm taking over for the 6 o'clock show tonight, but Tim will be back for News Channel 3 at 10. Jim, of course, is on the road for Go Jim Go, and again, uh, doing great out there. Thanks to everybody for all the donations and everything else. If you see them around the Mid-South, stop them and plunk a donation down and help the kids of Le Bonner. They could use your help on things like this trying to break last year's record. So good luck to Go Jim, Go and the crew. And thank you to everyone for doing such a wonderful job of donating with this. More coming up on News Channel 3 at 6, and I'll be doing another weather overtime about 8 o'clock tonight on my own Facebook page, so stay tuned for more there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, don't forget about WREG.com slash weather. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the evening and into the rest of the week. <laughs>